in Unit 4 we will address the problem-based interpretation. This unit is divided into seven sections. Section 1. Problem-based analysis of an aim. In Unit 3, five potential aims have been explained from a theoretical perspective. In the following, the problem-based interpretation is to be analyzed in greater detail. Five mini-cases with individual problem settings are introduced in order to illustrate the context-driven interpretation of topics. Section 2. Mini-case sinking ships. The first sample case is entitled Sinking Ships. A Hamburg-based logistics service provider offers specialized transportation services for bulky, lower-value goods like heavy equipment, spare parts and consumer goods. The company does not operate its own ships, so it charters container transportation capacity from shipping companies. Due to an unpredictable transportation volume, the company cannot arrange for long-term contracts but has to make use of the spot market. Spot market prices for container transportation are highly volatile, which makes it difficult to calculate price quotations for customers as well as the profitability of a given transaction in advance. A relatively new financial product named Container Freight Derivatives enables companies to lock in future transportation costs by concluding forward agreements and to hedge themselves against spot market price risks. Having heard about this product, the managing director asks a trainee to lay out the process of hedging with Container Freight Derivatives. What is the nature of the task? What is the question to be addressed? Please stop here and take five minutes to think about the two questions and to write down short answers to the questions. What is the nature of the task or aim of the research? A. A description of the process of hatching with container freight derivatives b. An explanation of the causal connection between expected freight rates and derivative pricing c. An analysis of the intention of companies that participate in the container freight derivative market d. A discussion of the functional relation between freight derivatives and the freight rates e. A comparison of situations with and without hatching The correct answer is A. The nature of the task is to provide a description of the process of hatching with container freight derivatives. What could be a research question for the research project? The question to be asked could be How can price risks be managed with container freight derivatives? What could be a topic for the research project? A topic explicitly indicating the aim could be Hatching spot market price risks for logistics service providers with container freight derivatives CFD in brackets. A topic requiring a problem-based interpretation could be Risk management with container freight derivatives CFD in brackets. Section 3. Mini case smelly shampoo. The second sample case is entitled Smelly Shampoo. Recently, an Asian cosmetics corporation has entered the European market in order to sell its hair care products based on a traditional formula. The price for the product has been set at a level that is comparable to similar products. Furthermore, the company spends a relatively high amount on its advertising budget. Although the products are superior in terms of care and texture, the sales volumes are stagnating. 
A fashion journal has claimed in an article that European consumers, in contrast to Asians, prefer intense fragrances. Headquarters asks its international marketing division to perform an investigation whether the softness of the fragrance is responsible for low sales volumes. What is the nature of the task? What is the question to be addressed? Please stop here and take five minutes to think about the two questions and to write down short answers to the questions. What is the nature of the task or the aim of the research? A. A description of olfactory marketing strategies with fragrances. B. An explanation of the causal connection between the intensity of the fragrance and the sales figures. C. An analysis of the intention of using fragrances in hair care products. D. A discussion of the functional relation between the amount of frequencies and the sales volumes. E. A comparison of situations with and without frequencies. The correct answer is B. The nature of the task is to analyze whether there is a causal connection between the intensity of the frequency and the sales figures. What could be a research question for the research project? The question to be asked could be, is the fragrance of the shampoo responsible for the poor sales figures? What could be a topic for the research project? An option explicitly indicating the aim could be, impact of fragrance specification of hair care products on European sales volumes. An option requiring an interpretation could be, all factory marketing strategies for hair care products. Section 4. Mini case, printing money. The third sample case is entitled Printing Money. In the aftermath of the financial crisis, the so-called subprime crisis of 2007 to 2009, the sovereign debt crisis has unfolded in Europe. The European Central Bank, the ECB, tried to intervene against the crisis in the context of its duty to conduct monetary policies. The ECB involves itself inter alia in longer-term refinancing operations, whereby banks can borrow funds from the ECB against collateral in the form of securities, so-called repurchase agreements. In December 2011, banks borrowed roughly 500 billion euro with a maturity of three years and for an interest rate of 1% from the ECB. This action was heavily criticized and questioned by some economists, politicians and other market participants due to the risk of inflation and implicit financing of sovereign debt. Members of the German parliament, the Bundestag, were confused and asked the research and documentation services of the parliament to provide a paper that addresses the purpose of the ECB's action. What is the nature of the task? What is the question to be addressed? Please stop here and take five minutes to think about the two questions and to write down short answers to the questions. What is the nature of the task or the aim of the research? A. A description of the ECB's duty to conduct monetary policies and related instruments. B. An explanation of the causal connection between repurchase agreements and inflation. C. An analysis of the intention of the ECB's action. D. An analysis with respect to the functional relation between repurchase agreements and inflation. 
E. A comparison of alternative actions in the context of the European sovereign debt crisis. The correct answer is C. The nature of the task is to analyze the intention of the ECB's action. In this problem setting, also options A, B and E leave room for alternative or additional aims. What could be a research question for the research project? The question to be asked could be, what is the intention of the ECB money tenders in the context of the sovereign debt crisis? What could be a topic for the research project? An option explicitly indicating the aim would be purposes of ECB's long-term refinancing operations in the context of the sovereign debt crisis. An option requiring an interpretation would be monetary policies and sovereign debt crisis. Section 5. Mini case, windy decisions. The fourth sample case is entitled Windy Decision and already known to us. A local bank in a rural area has been approached by a farmer who wants to erect a small windmill farm on his farmland. The farmer has funds available that will only cover up to 20% of the investment costs. Therefore, he applies for a loan that will make up for the remaining 80%. Besides the windmill and the income derived from electricity sales, he is not able to provide additional collateral or security to the bank. As a consequence, the electricity sales become a key factor for the financial feasibility. The farmer claims that electricity sales are guaranteed by the German Renewable Energy Act, the EEG. The bank has no experience concerning windmill project financings. Therefore, the executive committee of the bank asks the credit department to provide a memorandum that analyzes the interdependencies between the EEG and project financing of windmill projects in general. What is the nature of the task? What is the question to be addressed? Please stop here and take five minutes to think about the two questions and to write down short answers to the questions. What is the nature of the task or aim of the research? A. A description of windmill farm project financing in Germany b. An explanation of the causal connection between the EEG and the feasibility of windmill farm project financing. c. An analysis of the intention of the implicit sales guarantee provided by German Renewable Energy Act. d. An analysis of the functional relation between the EEG and the feasibility of windmill farm project financing. e. A comparison of the financing situation with and without the EEG. The correct answer is D. The nature of the task is to analyze the functional relation between the EEG and the feasibility of windmill farm project financing. In this problem setting, also options A, B, C and E leave room for alternative or additional aims. What could be a research question for the research project? The question to be asked could be, how will the EEG influence market risk and thereby the financial feasibility of windmill farms? What could be a topic for the research project? An option explicitly indicating the aim is interdependencies between the German Renewable Energy Act, EEG, and project financing of windmill projects. An option requiring an interpretation is Project finance of windmill farms under the German Renewable Energy Act, EEG in brackets. Section 6. Mini case, Clara Couture.
The fifth sample case is entitled Clara Couture. Clara started as an entrepreneur with a small shop for designer shirts in Hamburg. After 10 successful years, her company owns shops in 25 European cities and has an annual turnover of plus 500 million euro. The legal form of the company has to be changed in order to keep track with the aggressive cross-border expansion strategy. Various legal, antitrust, financial and taxation objectives have to be obeyed and optimized. Moreover, the interests of the current owners shall be maintained. An external law firm has already proposed the legal form of a Societas Europea as the most suitable option. Clara, who still acts as CEO, is skeptical and asks the head of the strategy department to come up with an appraisal of the proposal. What is the nature of the task? In which way should the proposal be appraised? Please stop here and take 10 minutes in order to think about the two questions and to write down short answers to the questions. What is the nature of the task or aim of the research? A. A description of the proposed legal form and how it can be used for an expansion strategy. B. An analysis of the causal connection between the expansion strategy and the proposed legal form. C. An analysis of the intention of Clara Couture in the context of the expansion strategy. D. A discussion of the functional relation between the cross-border expansion strategy and the proposed legal form. E. A comparison of the implications of the proposed legal form and the objectives of Clara Couture. The correct answer is E. The nature of the task is a comparison of the implications of the proposal with the objectives of Clara Couture. First. Analysis of the implications of the Societas Europea. Second, explication of companies' objectives. Third, comparison of implications with objectives and conclusion. What could be a research question for the research project? The question to be asked could be, Does the Societas Europea serve the objectives of Clara Couture? What could be a topic for the research project? An option explicitly indicating the aim would be appraisal of the suitability of the legal form Societas Europea for the cross-border expansion strategy of Clara Couture. An option requiring an interpretation would be Societas Europea and cross-border expansion strategies of fashion companies. Section 7. Implications of sample cases. The matrix summarizes the five sample cases the aims and their research questions. Typically, a problem setting will provide a context that helps with the interpretation of a topic.